All right, guys, we have Coach Cattle Terry here for you first, the right hand speaker, and we will get to you. Uh, go ahead and get started. You want to move that thing closer to me on that trash can? It's not being the picture. I can't see who I'm talking to. Yeah, just move it up. Someone said something smart. I don't even know. Just unplug. Unplug there. I don't need it. Is the other one still good? Yeah, we're good. Go ahead. All right, Austin Miller, we're going to start with you. Go ahead. Uh, in here. More excitement. It's coming on now. All right, we got it. Turn the sound up way high. Go ahead. Cal, the offense seems to be making easier plays with some of your guys. How is that helping build towards some of your other guys kind of getting to that point? We only had two turnovers, um, which is crazy. We had none at halftime. Um, you're talking about a team that led the nation in unforced turnovers. So you could tell what the last two weeks, three weeks, all I've been working on, making the easiest play, not trying to be a hero. If a guy's right in front of you, you throw it to him. How about this? If you drive and your man or someone else's man is in front of you, for all you basketball bennies, what does that mean? You drive and there's a man in front of you and it's not your man. There's another guy open. There's somebody open because you got a guy that's not your man. We're getting better. Um, the other thing is the execution and I'm demanding it. I mean, the, the, the coming out of a timeout, uh, the Olivier play, the, the, the last play for Davion, execution. You know why? They're worried about their team instead of themselves. Everybody's got a role. Jacob Toppin was ridiculous. And again, I told them, whoever fights, I'm leaving in the game. I need fighters. Just like we did at Mississippi State, I need fighters. And if I play five guys the rest of the way, that's what we're going to do. Um, Dante broke down a ton today defensively. He made baskets and free throws when we needed it, but he may have given up as many as he scored. And I told him, I said, look, if that's the case and it's even Steven, I'm probably good with you. But you got to get to where and – and they were game planning stuff. Like, you know, he went under a screen. He – they, they just did some stuff, but I'm telling you, he deserves to be on that court and you know what he does to the defense. He spreads out the defense. I ran a play for him, banged a three right to the top. Boom. That may have been out of a timeout. John, here we'll go to you. Then Gary. Cal, obviously you, you found a group that kind of works at the end of the game, the last two games, but what's your message to BJ right now? How's his confidence? Uh, there were some boos at one point in the first half, and I don't know if you heard that or not. Yeah, um, look, uh, I don't give up on any player, and I believe in BJ. We have been working on BJ to play a certain way, but he'll revert back to what he knows best, those flips, don't get fouled. Um, I have, you know, I mean, he, he, we just, and I told him, all the stuff we've been working on, you did none of it today. And I expected him to have a big game today because he's been so good in practice, so good in individuals, all the stuff, the coming, coming to a stop in the lane and just a one-two stop, like a, a little floater. And he had two or three opportunities and he's, he's trying to flip balls. So, but he'll get it and I believe in him. Um, but again, he didn't come out because of his offense. He came out because defensively they were going right at him. They went right to him. And he's he's got to take pride. Say, you're not doing that to me. Not at my length. I'm six, seven and got long arms, seven foot wingspan. I'm not shooting layups. I'm not getting on your side. I'm not gonna follow you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give ground and be tough and bend over and defend. Capable of doing it, but it was uh, you know, I thought again, I, I said to Devin and Davion, they had 22 points, five assists, no turns between them. Wow. 
grabbed him after the game. I told Isaiah how proud I was. How about Isaiah struggled early? Had a, a, had a little, you know, emotional thing on the bench. Kissed him on the forehead, said, look, I love you, kid. Just come back. You'll be fine. And then he gets the biggest rebound of the game. The last one, above the rim, jerked it in, screamed for a will to win. Gary, go ahead, and then Carl will be next. John, you made uh, 26 out of 32 free throws, and just, well, every one down the stretch. What, what if anything, does that say to you? Well, they're a three-point shooting team. So when you shoot, how many threes did they shoot? 27, 28? So you're not, they're not going to have as many opportunities. We were posting the ball and trying to drive the ball. Um, I'm trying to really define how we're going to have to play, and we're getting closer to it. So, you know, and some of the stuff was out on the floor late. So I, I would say six of them. But De 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 Davion and Devin and then uh, Dante. Now, Dante missed one, and there was a lane violation. So he had another opportunity, which became a big play because that last three could have been for a winner. Um, but it's, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a better feel, but you know, we're going to have to fight now. We got the top of the league coming up, you know, the best teams in the league, here they come. And, um, uh, you know, but in, in January, we're two and oh, I'll go with you. Along those lines, Cal, you've, you've made this progress essentially without getting anything out of BJ or Terrence because Terrence has been, been hurt and BJ has been struggling. Is there in some measure some encouragement there that these other guys have sort of dragged you guys along while you wait on those two to, for it to click? You know what you do? Well, Terrence is, is or he's out because he's hurt. Um, Keon is out because he's hurt. Uh, BJ is just not playing well, but I've been, look, we can lie to kids or we can keep it real. If someone's playing better and tougher than you, they're going to be in there, especially the last five, eight minutes of the game. Just how it is. And he knows that. And I told him when I took him out, I said, look, man, take pride in your defense. They're just coming right at you. And he will. I mean, he's a terrific player. Do you know how hard this has been? How about they don't get a chance to play in front of 24,000? Do you know how much this team would need that? Do you understand that all this stuff, we didn't have team building and all the things that happened. And then emotionally, and our fans have been great. They haven't been burying the kids. They've been pretty positive with them. But you could tell that this stuff adds up. And so now I don't want him putting too much pressure. Devin did that early. And I had to say, come on, man, step back. I believe in you, but you can't be in the mindset you're in. Like every basket is life and death. You can't play ball. Go ahead, Daryl, then Larry. Yeah, John, I was going to ask you about Jacob. 6.6 .6 rebounds. Have all of your best teams had that, that energy guy that can come in? And are you surprised he's able to do that for you? Um, no, because I've seen it. Now, I did tell him to fade away with the late kick wasn't needed when he he got a post up and he just turned and threw an air ball. I said, why would you do that? Like, cause you hadn't shot it in a while. Come on, man, don't. And he has gotten so much better offensively, his decision-making, his ability to run downhill and get layups. How about his rebounding on offense on free throws? I mean, now you understand that he's gotten two of those in the last two games. So I'm really proud of him. And, and I told the team, the reason we won the game is Jacob guarded Pippen. And the only time Pippen got going is when Olivier stood straight up and down and backed away versus what we were trying to do, which is get up there and square it off. You know, that's when he scored. But Pippen's, you know, look, how many did he end up with? 20-some? 18? I mean, he's a good player. They're going to win games because they, they make shots. They, they made eight in the first half. I told the guys, every year we play them, guys, it's exactly the same way. They make all these shots, and then we got to fight like heck and try to win a close game. Every time we played them last year, this year, the year before, every coach, not just this coach, the last coach and the one before that. So, you know, I'm happy for the kids. It's a W. 
And now it's uh, let's let's evaluate the tape. We'll grade the tape possession by possession to be able to tell the players here's the breakdowns, here are the F's, here are the A's. Here's the execution on defense. Here's the F in execution. What did we talk about? Why did you do this? Didn't we talk about it for two days? You chose to do what you wanted to do, not what the team needed you to do. And we're still in that mode. I mean, they, they probably had four of the eight threes because of our miscommunication or us being in the wrong spots, not where we were supposed to be. And, and kind of like Notre Dame, when you give that team open threes, what? They make them, just like Notre Dame did to us. That was on us. We broke down. That's probably time for two more. Larry and Ken. It, it, John, when you talk about Dante's defense, are his breakdowns something that'll be hard to fix? And what no. did you think of his poise no. on offense? No. And he rebounded the ball. He got a couple rebounds. I'll give you an example. On If your man was getting screened, he didn't have the ball. We're chasing that. He went inside, and his man made a three. If your man was getting a dribble handoff, do you know what that is, Larry? Like the guy dribbles to you and he goes to hand it off? I do. We were not going over that. We were going under that. He went over that. If your man was going through the lane to the weak side, you were to stop with both feet in the lane on the other side of the basket to where you left, not, well, he went out there twice outside the lane and wasn't ready to switch to a guy that he needed to switch to because he wasn't where he was supposed to. And again, we spent two days on it, but he wasn't the only one. Isaiah did it. Davion did it a couple times, but he had some breakdowns. But you know what? Like I told him after, you had seven or eight breakdowns, nine, eight. Let's just get it to four and then keep making shots. Jazz keep making shots, kid. And the, the team laughed. I mean, look, you got to give up something sometimes. And he's trying, and he's got a lot of courage. Um, but like I said, our breakdowns weren't just him, but I want everybody out there to know, look, what he's doing for us, we can't replace it. So I got to figure out how I get him better on defense or more comfortable. Can't finish us off. Yeah, John, the, it seems like with every passing game, you are really starting to trust Devin and, and Davion in the in the backcourt to be able to make plays for you guys. That final play, to be able to trust those two guys to, to make that shot and, and Davion to be able to hit it. I, well, here's, here's what I'm doing. I'm giving them stuff to run because I want to do less and I need them to do more. Um, that here's the stuff we're running. You run what you want. But here are the two or three things we're going with. Um, and then there may be a timeout, and I say, okay, let's do these couple things now. So if we have it in transition, you know what it is. If not, at a dead ball, here it is. And I let them make those choices. Um, you know, we did miss a bunch of layups now today. We probably missed four or five. Um, and maybe those should be runners versus layups because of our size. But like I said, I'm, I'm uh, happy for the, the kids. BJ is going to be fine. We need our fans to absolutely support BJ. I don't know why anybody would just want to be nasty to anybody. If you want to be nasty, be nasty to me. It's my fault. Don't be nasty to him. I'm the one that put him in the game. So if you're mad, just be mad at me. Be positive. Everybody left Devin alone. When Devin struggled early, no one really got on Devin. Our fans left him alone. They let him do his thing. And look where Devin is now. And now I'm saying the same thing. Our fans haven't been bad on BJ. They've been pretty good because they're good people. They're not nasty. They're not trolls. It's not who they are. So now you'll see him begin to come. And you know what? You feel like you played a part in it. It's like you're in this building in 24,000 with us here. With us not here, it's a different game for us. But I say it again, it's a good win. We got tough games coming up. All I'm trying to do every day, how do I get these guys better? How do I get them to understand I believe in them? How do I get them to understand they must execute on both sides of the ball for us to have that chance that we want to do something unique and special?
Thanks. Thanks, guys. We'll have uh, Olivier and Davion in here in a few minutes.